My man Greg is an investor from Rhode Island, and he wants to flip some houses here in Cleveland, but he only has $15,000. What can we do? Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and all my longtime viewers know this is the show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? I help you guys start, grow, build your real estate portfolios, make passive income through real estate investing. And the guy I'm working with today, his name is Greg. Greg, you are from Rhode Island, right? And you want to get in the game, you want to invest, and you uh, have been looking into doing flips or possibly bird deals. For those who don't know what bird deals are, uh, that's a uh, acronym stands for buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat, right? Uh, the issue is with uh, both of these strategies is each of these strategies is going to require a robust amount of cash, okay? At the moment, you're saving $2,000 a month, which is awesome. Uh, so you're going to want to continue to do that because as of right now, there's no scenario where you're flipping houses or doing bird deals, right? Because it would require you to buy things in cash. Well, you, you don't got no cash, dog. You got fifteen grand. There ain't no fucking houses out there you could buy for fifteen grand. That you could then go ahead and renovate and flip, right? I mean, if you want to flip houses in the Cleveland market, you're going to need probably about $100,000, right? Once you get yourself to $100,000, we could successfully do some flips, man. I mean, we could honestly, we could probably do some like DC class stuff uh, if, if you got like 65, 70 actually. Uh, so anywhere between sixty and seventy thousand dollars is what you're going to need cash-wise uh, to successfully do flips or even bird deals. Now. I know a lot of people talk about hard money lenders, and I got all kinds of lenders, regular lenders, traditional lenders, commercial lenders, hard money lenders. I got all kinds of them. If you guys want to talk to my list of lenders, uh, just send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get that list to you. But I don't want you guys uh, getting all excited about uh, potentially coming into this market and doing all these flips uh, if you don't have any cash and you want to use lenders, right? Uh, flipping is a very um, <clears throat> it's a very tight margin business, right? There's a lot of competition, right? Everybody loves that. Everybody loves money, of course, and you can make a lot of money flipping, but you got to understand uh, the margins are tight. Buyers are bidding each other up, okay? So if you have to rely upon hard money funds, uh, number one, it's going to eat into your margins. You're going to be paying a lot of money, uh, you know, additional cost points on your loan. Number two, it's going to make your offers less attractive, so you're probably going to have to overpay, right? If a cash offer comes in over here, and then your offer with all these financing and appraisal contingencies, which hard money lenders still require, I know some people are out there thinking like hard money loans are just like cash offers. I don't know who the fuck tells everybody that, but that ain't true, right? A hard money loan is a fucking loan, guys. That's what it is. It's a loan. It's not cash. It's a fucking loan. So uh, your hard money loan, honestly, from a selling standpoint, being somebody that has uh, sold over $200 million worth of real estate, I'm going to tell you guys this. Uh, if I am selling a property and I get a traditionally financed offer and a hard money financed offer, I'm actually going to consider that traditionally financed offer stronger because they're more likely to close. Uh, these hard money offers are probably the weakest of all types of offers. So that's a little food for thought, something you guys should know, right? So with all that said, uh, I think if you guys want to flip, you want to do the burst stuff, that's great. I have lenders, but you're better off waiting to do that stuff until you could do those strategies cash, okay? Everybody's telling you you can flip houses with no money, okay? But do you know what all the people that say you can flip houses with no money? Do you know what they do? They sell you their course or their program on flipping houses with no money, and then after you pay them and you take their course, they send you out to the real world to get it done, okay? Well, we don't do shit like that here. We actually couple our education with real deals. And in the real world, what I just explained to you uh, is what's actually you're going to encounter, right? It's, it's, it's not a viable business plan, flipping houses with no money. So all those other folks out there that are selling you these courses, there's a reason they don't back any of that stuff up 
uh, with, with real deals, real opportunities, right? They just they grab the education money and then they're out. So that's not to say you can't invest right now, Greg. You still have enough funds to do something. Uh, and I wanted to show you what you can do, right? You got a multi-pack from me. So you're also saving $2,000 a month. So I'm going to show you this particular property here in a moment. And if it makes sense and you're like, oh, I didn't think of doing that. It's not a flip. It's not a burr, but I could do that with the amount of money I have. Let's do that deal. Great. We'll move forward with the deal. If not, you're still saving that two G's a month. So I want you to continue saving till you have saved between sixty and $100,000. Then when you get that, come back to me. We'll do your other videos. We'll move forward, right? The package you bought does not expire, guys. That's what's great about our packages. Investing in real estate. We don't do this overnight, right? You don't decide in January you want to be a real estate investor, and then in March you have this huge portfolio. These things take time. It takes years. You have to acquire a lot of cash often. So uh, it's okay to hit the pause button, and that's exactly what I want you to do if what I'm about to show you doesn't make sense. But honestly, I, I think you're probably going to be well-suited doing a deal like this, brother. I think this makes a lot of sense based on your situation. 2227 West Hunter 6, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. It's been listed a little over a week, okay? It's a little two-bedroom, one-bathroom uh, rental home. They listed it at $54,900, uh, listed by a company called Classic Realty. And this already has a tenant in there, okay? And it's a nice little, nice little rental, brother. Like, look, look at all the tenants' uh, stuff. They got, you know, pretty nice decor in there. You got the hardwood floors. You got the neutral color scheme throughout, right? You got a nice, you know, decently updated kitchen. I mean, is it granite countertops? No. Is there a beautiful backsplash? No. But, I mean, we're talking a $54,000 house, bro. It's not supposed to be the Ritz-Carlton. Uh, for this type of neighborhood uh, and, and what we're getting, this type of income class, this is, this is pretty darn nice, man. And our big ticket items are taken care of for us, right? Like the furnace and the hot water tank, both newer, right? They just installed this hot water tank and this furnace in the last couple years. Those are big costs, right? Uh, a furnace is going to run you three G's. They last every 30 years. So if they've just done this in the last couple of years, you got like 25 years or so left, right? 25, 27, something like that, right? Hot water tanks, they cost $1,000. They last about 15 years. So these are two big costs you don't have to worry about, okay? And the cool thing is with this particular home... Uh, it's already got the tenant. It's, it's, it's not going to require anything, and the market rent is actually very high. Now, what I want you to do, though, is I want you to take advantage of the fact that the current rent is, is, is lower than what it should be, right? This is listed at 54900 okay? That's probably what the house is worth, but... The house isn't going to show as well because we have that tenant in there, right? So that cuts off all owner-occupied buyers. So they're probably not interested because we got a tenant living there, right? That leaves us with investors. Well, the investors, most investors are going to look at the current rent, which is $525 a month, and they're going to be disappointed, right? It's hard to make money on a $525 a month rental. But you, you are lucky because you have hired me to do this analysis for you, and I can tell you without issue, we will have no problem over the long haul, renting this at a market rent rate of eight seventy five a month. That's ten thousand five hundred a year. If we rent this at eight seventy five a month, I anticipate an average expense of four hundred three coming out, leaving us with a net operating income of almost five hundred dollars a month. And then this is where it gets good. This is where you only having fifteen thousand dollars does not. Uh, put, put a damper in this strategy I've set up for you. I want you to try to buy this with a traditional loan, right? Again, I have a bunch of lenders, guys. Sales at HoldenWise.com if you want them. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. traditional 30-year fixed interest, low interest loan, right? You're only going to need to put down 25%. And because that rent is so low, I'm going to try to negotiate the price down for you. I think we can pick it up at 45000 If we pick it up at 45000 Greg, you're only going to need to put down 
11250 And then if we were able to raise the current tenant's rent up to market rent, which is 875 that should ruffle, you know, rough out to about a 35% cash-on-cash return, right? So this is a solid investment. doesn't require any renovation, right? Now, obviously, some things have to go our way to get it there, right? we got to be able to keep the tenant in there. But, you know, if the tenant does move out, you know, at that point, we'll address it as it goes, right? we got to go back into the unit, clean it up, spruce it up. We'll give you a bid to turn it over, and then we'll bring in a new tenant. Uh, what we don't want to do is, is try to force that tenant out artificially, though. So in our efforts to get this tenant from their five and a quarter, which is where they're at now, to where we want them, 875, we don't want to do that overnight, right? We want to do that slowly. So what we want to do is, you know, when her current lease expires, I believe she's got like six months left or something like that. When that expires, we're going to want to be patient, right? Instead of trying to get her way up, just go like 50 bucks, 75 bucks, 100 bucks. And the goal is to just slowly get her up to that market rent and make our money that way, right? Because you're still going to make money. It's less money with her in there paying lower, but you're still making money, right? So you don't want to be in a hurry to remove her. That is the smartest way to do it. And in my opinion, this is probably the smartest way uh, for you to invest in the Cleveland market because, as I said earlier, right, you're just not there in regards to flipping. It just ain't going to happen for you, brother. So don't even think about that. Like, this is pretty much, you know, what you're relegated to in the Cleveland market right now based upon your budget. So if that makes sense, you want to do the deal, send my team an email, uh, sales at HoltonWise.com. Just uh, reply. Well, actually, we, we're sending this to you in a private email. Uh, that's how we do this show, folks. Before I release it publicly on Holton Wise TV, a couple months back, I, I, I sent it to the people we actually did the videos for privately, and then we work through and handle the deal, negotiate the deal. Only after the deal is gone, is no longer on the market, do I release it publicly, right? So, so as you're watching this right now, Greg, you have it in an email. So just reply to that email, and then my team can submit the offer, begin negotiating with the seller. If not, if you don't want to do this deal, Let's just put a pause on your investing till you have the appropriate amount of funds. And then why I got you here, you actually gave me a few questions that I wanted to address for you, all right? Now, <clears throat> one of your questions is, how does the renovation process work with your team in terms of how decisions are made for everything from whether or not to gut a bathroom to deciding on which tile or paint color to use? Great question, brother. And uh, we are all about transparency. Transparency is... Our number one thing here at Holton Wise. And as far as like uh, what materials to use, we choose all of that, right? We don't do custom stuff, right? Custom isn't how you make money. You make money in this business by volume and processes, streamlining everything. So like, for instance, the paint color. Right now, statistically speaking, the most popular color in America is Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. So every single house that we renovate, that's what we paint it with. We don't paint houses based on what you think looks cool, Greg. We don't paint houses based on what I think looks cool. We paint houses based upon what the majority of our customer base is going to be interested in. If five years from now... Uh, statistics come out, trends change, and fucking, I don't know, hot pink is the most popular interior color in America. Well, guess what? All of our houses are going to get painted hot pink. But in the meantime, it's going to be agreeable gray with some white trim because that is what makes us the money. Now, in regards to, like, the scope of work, how things like that go, uh, what we do is we've actually created this fact, and this is really going to have pretty much – Every single thing in there that you need, we go over the buying process, but we also go over just all of our renovation processes and, and every single thing we do, okay, in regards to uh, how our team operates and and like how, how the whole whole scenario is going to work, right? Timelines the whole night. So you got a ton of questions here, and then we have video tutorials for everything. So in regards to like what decisions are made, the scope of work, et cetera, you're going to want to watch this video. Valerie will explain all that to you, how we develop the scope of work, how we determine what's on there. And then, you know, it's essentially there's things that are going to meet Holton Wise's minimum standards, and then we also give you additional things to go above and beyond that, right? You have certain things that uh, if you want us to continue to manage the asset for you, you have to renovate them to our minimum standards, and then we offer you the option to add premium upgrades uh, for additional cost if you like. Uh, next, do I have one point of contact assigned to the project and we sort through issues and decisions as they arise? Uh, when you work with Holton Wise, 
uh, yes, you do get a point of contact. We we onboard you into our property management system, and then uh, Valerie is actually going to be uh, one of your main points of contact. But we always contact you as far as like uh, you know sorting through issues when they arise, things of that nature. Uh, it's not really like something that happens. Like, don't think that this is like a like a two way like. Hey, we're working together to try to solve problems. Like we've renovated hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes. It's not like we're gonna call you like, "Hey, Greg, ah, fuck, we don't know what to do right now. What do you think, dog?" Like that's not how this works, right? Uh, you're gonna get onboarded. You're gonna want to read through all this. We're gonna send you our streamlined process for giving you the bids. Your job is to approve the bid. Once you approve the bid, send in the necessary funds. We get to work. As far as like any hiccups or things of that nature, if something does happen, we will let you know that it happened and what we what action we had to take to get it done. But don't think that there's things in there that uh, we we need feedback on how to handle or things we haven't handled. Uh, we run a fifty million dollar portfolio, so uh, you know renovating these homes is is really not going to be very many issues, uh, but, uh, you know, when when our team does need to communicate with you, they will send you an email, and you also get an owner portal, which kind of goes uh, through your next question. How is the communication? You get an owner portal, which is accessible 24-7, okay? So in real time, you're able to see charges on your account, things of that nature. All your files will be in there, like your signed bids, estimates, things of that nature. And then your last question, will you provide line item estimates for the work, labor cost, number of hours of each item, and material cost. Yeah, et cetera. That's, again, what you want to go in and, and read through this whole fact where we explain our maintenance process. They'll explain to you exactly where, when, why, and how you receive all of those items. All right, Greg, glad I was able to answer your questions, talk to you about your flipping, and possibly set you up on your first deal here in the Cleveland market. That's all I've got for today's show, brother. Everybody else who was watching Greg's show, if you're interested in possibly working with Holton Wise in the same way to start, build, or grow your real estate investment portfolio, uh, you can go to HoltonWise.com, click the MLS Search and Analysis Show, order yourself a set of packages. You could also send my team an email with your contact information, sales at HoltonWise.com. If you want to go over anything, go over any questions you have about working with us, or if you're just a brand new viewer and maybe you just Googled some things about real estate and not ready to talk to us or work with us, you're just you know trying to learn or whatever, that's totally cool. Make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button because we are putting out real estate related content on a daily basis with the main effort, the main target being to provide you guys with a real transparent look at this business, guys, because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.